All right, let's dive in. Russia just offered India a game-changing fighter jet package, the Su-57E Stealth Jet and the S-70 Okotnik UCAV, designed for manned-unmanned teaming or MUMT. Now, what's so special about this deal? First, the Su-57E comes with an optional two-seat variant. That means unlike the single-seat F-35, one pilot can fly, while the other manages a swarm of drones, like the S-70 Okotnik, right from the cockpit. Imagine running a drone strike from 40,000 feet all in real time. Pretty futuristic, right? Next up, customization. India gets the keys to the kingdom. Russia's letting them integrate their own missiles and radar systems, and even promises major tech transfer and local production. The F-35? Not so much. The US rarely offers those perks, especially to non-NATO partners. Engine power? Russia's throwing in their next-gen Izdelia 30 engine, promising supercruise and raw thrust. But fair warning, it's still in testing and won't be ready until at least 2027. There's also the price tag. Su-57E and Su-35M are likely to cost way less per jet than the F-35A, and Russia says they'll deliver faster, with up to 100 jets by 2030. But there's a catch. Sanctions. Buying Russian jets could risk US penalties, and India has struggled with spare parts for Russian planes before. Plus, Russia's production lines are already stretched. And about Odisha's opinion. Honestly, this is a national call, not a regional one. So, is the Su-57E plus S-70 combo better than the F-35 for India? On paper, maybe. But in geopolitics, nothing's ever simple. What do you think? Drop your thoughts below. And please share, subscribe and support the Defense and Safety Engineering channel.